have so many thoughts on this way of eating that I could probably post every single day and twice on Sunday. <laughs> but I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone's ready for that. Um, today, though, I wanted to talk about uh, a while ago, I'd been listening to a video where this woman was talking about the placebo effect of the keto and carnivore diets where people are expecting to feel better and so they feel better. And I thought, okay, well, that that's a pretty good point. She makes a good point where you go into something expecting a certain feeling or, you know, uh, benefit or whatever, and then you get that benefit. So it's like, well, was it your positive thinking that brought the benefit or did it actually work? And I thought, while I agree with her that that can happen, I was thinking about my own journey into this diet and how I wasn't expecting the health benefits that I got. I did have some expectations. Like I thought, well, everyone keeps talking about how it brought their blood pressure down. Surely, you know, that can happen to me. Um, or they talked about, um, oh my goodness, like, oh, so the reversal of like their type 2 diabetes, which I did not have, so there, I had no expectation there. What was amazing to me when I started this diet is the things that I wasn't expecting. So I've said this in another video where um, I was having heart palpitations every day, all throughout the day when I started this diet. Now, I had been to a cardiologist. They didn't know why. They had tried to blame it on the caffeine for coffee. And I'm like, I went 28 days without caffeine and I was still getting heart palpitations every single day. So no, it's not the caffeine. Um, I was like, they had me document. They're, they're like, oh, well, write down every time you have one. And I'm like, I'm having them every other minute. So here I'm sitting trying to have a conversation with a guest and my heart feels like it's going to just jump right out of my chest because it's jerky heart palpitation. So anyway, here's my point. Four days into the diet, I'm going to bed the one night and I'm like, something's weird. Something's, what is going on? Why, why, does, why does it feel so weird right now? What something is different. And it took me a minute to realize that the heart palpitations were gone. Because they used to like, I'd be trying to lay there and go to sleep and that jerking sensation, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't go to sleep. It was hard to ignore that sensation. But here, they were completely gone. So is it the placebo effect? Or is it that it was actually fixed? I wasn't expecting that. I had no idea that heart palpitations could go away on this diet. Now, I do want to say a disclaimer. It's not that I never get them anymore. I will still get them here and there, but it's not nearly on the frequency that it was before. Um, my indigestion got so much better. I wasn't expecting that. Um, now, the more I studied as I went into the diet, um, the more I had heard about people going off their acid reflux medications. Now, I wasn't taking anything uh, I wasn't taking an actual medication for it. I was taking apple cider vinegar tablets because that had helped because the, the medicines had stopped working. So um, I was taking apple cider vinegar tablets for about two years before I started the diet and it definitely helped. But um, I tried to quit about six months in and I just, oh my goodness, the acid reflux was so bad. So I started taking them again. It took me three full years of eating this way before my stomach healed enough. So that I could get off them. So was that the placebo effect? Um, I didn't get what I was looking for. Instead, I continued having the acid reflux. So I had to wait another two years. So anyway, I, I just, it cracks me up. It's like, you have no experience with this diet if that's what you're saying about it. You should maybe give it a try and see, or see what weird benefits you end up getting that you weren't expecting. Um just recently, uh, by the time I post this, it's probably going to be a couple months since I made that decision. But we'll say in July, I made the decision to quit sugar. And that was that was a pretty big decision. It had been a bit of a cling on since I started this diet. And I mean, I lost 45 pounds still having a slice of cheesecake like maybe once a month. So anyway, um, God led me to that point though where I was finally ready, 100% give up sugar. Well, with that also went mints. 
So I was kind of worried about giving up the mints because I'm like, I need something for my breath, you know, to freshen my breath. Well, what was interesting is when I gave up the mints too, my tongue stopped hurting. Uh, Wasn't expecting that. Definitely not a placebo effect there. I had no idea that the mints or the sugar from the mints were causing that sensation in my tongue, like making my tongue kind of, it just felt sensitive. Like I was constantly scraping it against my teeth. So I just think it's funny. Please list below some of the unexpected benefits that you got from this diet. I mean, I did expect to lose weight. I didn't have any expectations on how much I would lose. Um, I didn't have any hopes there either. To me, it was just like, no, I'm I'm in this to feel better. But please let me know some of the oddball benefits that you've experienced since you started this diet. I think I'm going to start posting these um, maybe on like Thursdays or Saturdays just because my list keeps getting longer and I'm not able to keep up with them just posting once a week. So anyway, thank you so much for listening. Bye.